A great psychologist once said that there's no such thing as coincidence. Just because the connections between events are invisible doesn't mean that they don't exist. The here and the now are never as simple and direct as they seem. The harmless inside of a radio studio can be strangely closer to the scene of a brutal murder than anyone might think. Just watch and listen before you decide on what the connection between them might be. So, this is it. This is where it ends, where it all ends. If you're listening, then you're probably in hiding somewhere, cringing in some basement, cowering in a closet, unable to see what's coming after you. But it is coming. It's coming, and there's nothing you can do about it. And so, in the spirit of the end of the world, here's a golden oldie. The Bee Gees singing, staying alive. And here's hoping that you can do just that until the song's end. So how do you like the show so far? I hate you. I'm not the one you should hate. I'm not the one that's going to tear you apart, rip you limb from limb, and leave you a screaming mass of blood and exposed intestines. Stop it! It now. Ah, the truth hurts. Of course, it doesn't hurt half as much as what's going to happen to Miss Emily here. Uh, well, happen to all of us. Stop it! Please, stop it! Stop it, Parker. Scaring us all isn't going to help. This is the time to think, not panic. We have to figure a way out of this. There has to be a way. Oh, Valerie, the eternal optimist. The kind that always gets killed first in the typical horror movie. But let me assure you, there is no way out. There's only a way in. The vents. The ductwork. Through the ceiling. Up through the basement. Up through the sink. If they want in, they'll get in. Stop it! Stop it right now! Uh, sorry, the song's over. Could you hold that thought? Still alive out there, Louisville? Hope we're not the only ones here in the WGFG studios. There are um, eight of us left, shaking and whimpering like terrified babies, waiting for the walls to come crashing down. But first, the news. <clears throat> War. Economy. Health care. Obama. Blah, 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 blah. The outside world goes on, but here in Louisville, everything changed in the last 24 hours. And if you've seen the mangled corpses piled up in the street, I'm not telling you anything new. Why don't you see if there are any police out there? Any soldiers? Maybe they can help us. Help us? How? Guns don't work against them. Nothing works against them. We're dead. We're all dead. You heard it here first, folks. It's official. Dr. Jacobson, head of the U of L Medical Center, has officially called us. Time of death for the city of Louisville? 10.24 p.m. Another exclusive for the Parker Wembley Radio Show. The only one left on the air in the dying, excuse me, the officially dead city of Louisville. Give me that microphone. Hey, it's my show. Then do something positive with it. Give them something they need. Okay, it looks as though security guard Hickens has decided to serve as program director for the Parker Wembley Show. You disgust me. Hmm, yeah? Imagine what's gonna do to my ratings. But okay. In case you've been locked in the bathroom for the last 24 hours, here's the news. 
Man, where do I start? The Fright Night Film Fest? Yeah. More like the Fright Night Film Feast. And we're all the main course. Okay, here it is in a nutshell. Under the guise of a horror movie, a horror movie film festival, a plague of unmitigated slaughter was brought into this city. There was Jason and Michael Myers and Freddy Krueger and zombies and aliens and predators and flesh-eating bacteria. All the iconic monsters we thought were fictional that we convinced ourselves were nothing more than nightmares imagined. All our worst fears turned out to be real and every bit as evil as we imagined. With the first movie shown, audience members started to disappear and then die. Then after a while, they didn't even care to make it a secret anymore. Vampires took out the police force and the National Guard in the first night. Nanobugs cut all communication with the outside world and werewolves blocked all the roads leading out of the city, attacking anyone who tried to escape. Then the killing really started. I saw giant spiders crawling all over City Hall. Serves them right. I heard zombies took over the DMV, and nobody even noticed the difference. <laughs> this isn't funny. People are dying out there. Sounds like people are dying in here, too. They got into our building now. Here? Only a matter of time. This booth is soundproof, not shatterproof. Why is this happening? Why? Who knows? People don't know a lot, but a lot of people don't know that. Maybe that was the only way they could get those creatures and psychotic killers to star in their movies. Maybe that was part of the negotiations. Free lunch, an entire city, if they show up at the Fright Night Film Fest. Maybe the only way to get them to sign releases was to actually release them in our town. They're getting closer. Guess it's just a matter of time for the Parker Wembley Show. So, um, let's hear from our old pal, Bobby Boris Pickett, with The Monster Mash. You're enjoying this, aren't you? We all have to die sometime. You might as well do it in a memorable way. It's funny. I just wanted to go see Crystal Damon. That's all. Who's Crystal Damon? She's an actress. Starred in Pool Hall Master and even played a caveman cheerleader in Homo Erectus. I just wanted to get her autograph. Instead, giant rats ate my little sister. Well, Louisville, this is Parker Wembley signing off. And if the Fright Night Film Fest comes to your town, stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. So don't forget to tune in and turn on with me, Parker Wembley. Your radio host here at WGFG every Thursday night at 10 o'clock for the radio drama.